Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Zaza here, and I am coming to you with a review today. With everything going on in the world, especially with the whole Black Lives Matter movement and people just becoming more aware of, you know, uh, the injustices that people who look like me are faced with, um, I thought it'd be nice to do a video relating to a black owned business a black British owned business even more so um, and it, that is OPV Beauty you may have heard of them they have been one of the beauty brands that have been listed on Instagram as a black owned business um, and I wanted to you know buy one of their products test it out for myself um, they are quite well known um, for their extremely pigmented eyeshadows um, but I thought let me try something different so I've actually picked up two of their matte liquid lipsticks and I want to show my review for them today as you can see one of them I've already got on you will see it in the video so let's roll so guys let's get into this makeup look so I've already used my the ordinary niacinamide, uh, ten percent and zinc one percent serum. I've also used the Botanics eighty one percent organic with rose hip hydrating day cream. So I've got a clean face. As you can see, I've also done my eyebrows. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut them out. The two products that I am reviewing today. It's quite funny because I only found out about them because of everything that's going on right now. Like, let's be real. Unfortunately, a lot of black-owned businesses, especially in the UK, we're not as aware as we probably should be or we'd want to be of what businesses are out there for different things like uh, beauty and fashion and so on but I think one positive thing that has definitely come out of all the madness that is going on right now in terms of George Floyd and the Black Lives Matter movement has definitely been that we are now sharing and discovering new or not even new just black businesses in general and it's really positive because a lot of these businesses that I'm finding especially through Instagram um, have definitely been businesses I've never I may never have come across before um, you know I do know a few I had known a few black owned beauty businesses from America because it was a bit more publicised and I'm talking about obviously businesses that have become more recognised um, but definitely British brands no like I, I don't think I knew any and it's a shame because why was we not pushing black owned beauty and fashion and blah and everything really before um, obviously right now I think not even right now, it's always been the case that I think a lot of us have wanted to invest or buy with black businesses but it's difficult when you don't know where to look or where to go so um, and unfortunately a lot, a few of the black businesses I did know in the UK had closed down in the last few years um, so that was sad. But we move. I probably should have done this first, but anyway, I don't really need it under there. But I have been drawn to number seven's airway, airway, airbrush away pore minimizing primer. So I'm gonna dab that on. How have you guys been finding, you know, quarantine, lockdown, everything that's been going on in the media? You know, I have my thoughts on everything that's going on in terms of the whole virus and whatnot but I, f 
feel like there's the media can often do a lot of scaremongering and you can't necessarily always trust the statistics that is put out there and the numbers that are put out there so um, yeah and I think there's just so much confusion and not enough transparency about what's actually happening um, even the fact that we went you know in London in, well in the UK we went into lockdown so late I just feel like excuse me why did why was, sorry, why was we one of the last countries to go into la into lockdown other than um, the US I just it's just insane it's just insane um, I think it just allowed for more people to get sick so I'm going to move on to my foundation now I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder double wear stay in place makeup foundation every because I watch a lot of YouTube obviously and it was like every, for years every YouTuber kept on banging on about this foundation and I've never tried it um, obviously you know I'm die hard Fenty beauty <laughs> foundation um, but I thought let me give it a try and this foundation <laughs> is amazing I'm not reviewing it right now so I'm not gonna like bang on about it but I really like this foundation it stays in put it stays in put why can't I speak it stays in place all day it's really good coverage really full coverage I just really like it and it's not thick it don't feel like it's clogging my pores um, it just feels really good like look at that coverage and it just it just makes your skin look flawless and silky it's lovely sorry if I'm looking down but my mirror is down in front of me okay but yeah in terms of everything that's happening with George Floyd and the Black Lives Matter movement and kind of the the uproar that's been happening across the world because this has been across the world and it's so nice to see that so many people are coming together in support of Black Lives Matter and people unfortunately in the UK they've restricted us from being able to protest which I find insane and I wonder if it is a human rights issue because I understand that because of the virus makes it more difficult in terms of you know what's the word what are we doing at the moment all this two meter distancing and whatever what have you however pubs are open now do you know what I mean? You're allowed to go to the park and sit down. You're allowed to be in a bubble with friends. I just... <sighs> Can anyone please explain to me? Have I just wiped off my brow? I think I have, you know, I might have to redo that. Um, but can anyone please explain to me how it is that we can go to pubs although yes we are still having to distance i think it's gone down to one meter now we are having to distance and so on and so forth um but yeah can someone please explain to me why some things are allowed and some things aren't like i just don't get it like okay for example you go to a supermarket they've said that employers at a supermarket or retail don't have to wear a mask but you going into them them places have to wear a mask it doesn't make sense to me but they come into contact with people themselves they all the staff that work in that certain retail or supermarket or whatever are together that's outside of their bubble because that's an extended bubble and then I just don't get it <laughs> I don't know I just don't get it it just it I'm sorry but it just don't make no sense to me it just really don't make no sense but anyway um, I feel like this year with everything that's been going on I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty uh, what is it actually called pro filter concealer I'm running out actually I need to get some more actually no I'm gonna do something else first 
I'm going to use my Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour just to lighten up underneath my eyes first. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And then go over with my Fenty Beauty. And yes, I do like using brushes. I feel like it takes less product off of your face once you've applied it. And gives a more covered look. And trust me, I have to conceal these brows. These brows? I have to conceal these bags, boy. Because I have not been getting a lot of sleep. And oh my gosh. I know I'm kind of all over the place, but... It's just things keep popping up in my mind. I am sunburnt on my face. Like, actually sunburnt. It's ridiculous. My nose was literally peeling from the other day. It's terrible. So I've been using um, like exfoliators to try and get all the peeling skin off sorry if that was TMI but yeah I've been <laughs> having to do that I'm now gonna go into peachy keen which is a lighter like brownie orange shade and I'm gonna just put that over the rest of the lid. When I first started doing makeup, I didn't really realise just how hooded my eyes are, um, or how small my eyes are and my eyelids. I don't have much eyelid. <laughs> so all you big eyelid, eyelid girls out there, you can get more out of your eyeshadow looks. My lids are quite hooded or small. Go ahead and put it on the other side. But yeah, what what have been your challenges through this like quarantine quarantine uh, this self distancing malarkey? Like, what have been your struggles? Because I guess mine, I've found is not being able to uh, go to all the places that I want to go um, when I want to go I, I have a problem with being restricted I don't like being restricted I don't like like I don't mind staying at home but I don't like being told I have to do something <laughs> I have a problem with authority <laughs> um, but yeah I feel like I'm the type of person that kind of wants to I'm spontaneous so I like to just get up one day and be like I'm going there I'm just gonna go do you know what I mean so to be told you cannot go just makes me feel like you can't tell me nothing <laughs> which obviously is not the attitude to have so now I'm gonna go in with this model co liquid metal eyeshadow across the inner eyelid and diffuse that out so as you know I've got two of these lipsticks and I actually actually um, it was actually on sale I paid for so everything so both of these lipsticks I paid for myself obviously um, I just wanted to review a black owned business um, makeup business for you guys All right and I'm gonna then go back with this one. I can use this brush now and kind of just diffuse that and blend that. I quite like that colour. It's pretty. And has anyone else noticed that their dustbin collection has not been as regular? Like, don't get me wrong, I know everyone needs to kind of quarantine and what so on and so forth but that's a key I'm sure that's a key worker position 
But I've noticed that it's not only my block actually, my mom's as well. Haven't had the rubbish collected as much lately in the last few months. It's like they come as and when they want kind of thing. I don't know what that's about. Oh, I'm getting hot in this bonnet. Lats. Let's do the rest of the face. I don't know whether I want to go Fenty Beauty Coco Naughty or whether I want to go Morphe Brontor. Now, Brontor is like a quite a heavy contour. It's quite a deep contour. Um, I think I might, because because I'm just going out like every like up and down the street I'm not going out out I'm just gonna use my Fenty Beauty Coco Naughty because it's a bit of a lighter shade organizations black organizations in the UK um, are doing about the fact that we're unable to protest at the moment um i don't don't know how many of you know like the clashing that went on when we were protesting um but i know that we had a lot of <sighs> other idiots doing a lot of other stupid things um against to go against what we were protesting for which up to this day I will never understand like how does it impact like here's my thing and there's other, I have heard other people say this but it's it's been on my mind as well like sorry I've got to say I'm using NYX sweet cheeks and matte blush green blush powder um like How does it impact you if we are protesting to ensure that we have fair treatment? I will never understand. At the end of the day, certain things, like why would, okay, example. When the statue got pulled down in Bristol, I feel like that was the time where people kind of got upset um with what was going on in terms of the protests but how can you support the people that were so disgusting yes they may have done x y and z that was positive for the country but if they have actively held down a whole people it just I don't understand how you can continue to support them and I'm talking about the everyday person the people that had an issue I'm not going to name them because I'm not even going to put them on my video but the people that had an issue with the fact that we were protesting in the first place second point I'm going to go in with my sleek what is it called highlight it's just copper pal copper plate highlighting palette um it's this one from sleek very pretty. Um, I don't like a heavy highlight. So. Just a little bit. So, if we are protesting because we are the bottom of the totem pole and we're treated like we are, we're actually treated worse than than that. Um, and we're treat we're protesting for equality in this world. Equality at the bottom. Then does that not? then say so then does that not suggest that we are then saying we're in by us fighting for equality everyone above us in the totem pole is going to have automatic equality because if we're right at the bottom it can only enhance those above us so why are you going against what we're doing and I think a lot of it is um, through media. I think media is a detriment to us in so many ways that people don't see. I think people are so unaware 
of how much they're influenced by the media um, and what effect that has on positive change um, because for example with the looting or riots or whatever that they was claiming were happening in America for example there's been so many reports or stories on Instagram that have confirmed that the people doing it were not part of the movement. It was not part of the protest. They were just they were just opportunists, but they're using that to put onto the Black Lives Matter movement um, and the fight for equality. Which then the average person watching the news, unfortunately, just goes, oh, look at them. They're terrible. Look what they're doing. Blah, blah, blah. This is what the movement's really about. Ah! Oh, that's annoying. What the movement's really about. Blah, blah, blah. And therefore have a negative view on the movement itself. X, Y, Z. So it's about the average person reading beyond or seeing beyond um, what the media is saying and actually educating yourself. Like just go and read. Like people are so scared to read like and research for themselves but make so many claims and points that they think are so true but none of them ain't done no research. You just spouting off things that you have no actual idea about. And sorry, but that makes a fool out of you, not me, willing to go and research these things for myself and educate myself. And I'm of this diaspora, so I shouldn't even, I, there's a lot of it. I just naturally know because I, this is who I am. But I will still go and look. I will still go and research. I will still go and find out. And I think the biggest issue for the average person is they feel like we're trying to say we're better than them. Which doesn't make any sense because if we're saying we're at the bottom and we, you know, we want to be equal, how can we feel like we're better than you? Or how can we be saying that we're better than you? No, we're just dropping straight facts as to why we have been why we have been put in these places of systematic racism and keeping us down. There is evidence as to why. You just have to go and look. And if you're really not a part of keeping us down, then you would want to be a part of lifting us up. And if you're not, Keep it moving. Don't have a comment. Don't have no opinion. It's just that simple. I powder my face with the Too Faced. What is that actually called? I'm terrible. I don't know the name of anything. Born this way. Translucent powder. Just a little bit because obviously I need to dust over where I get shiny which is definitely my nose um, and the thing about my nose is it's burnt right now it's actually really burnt it's gone really dark um, let's cut out that con contour a little bit so this is a new morphe continuous sitting spray um, so I'm gonna do that first <laughs> Right, so, I like this. It's still not completely dry. I think I might have put a bit too much. But, I like the colour. I think the pigment is really nice. I think it's a really nice colour. Um, in terms of tackiness, it is still a little bit tacky. Like, I don't know if it's just not dry, completely dry yet. Um, it's not heavy, it don't make my lips feel like they're really heavy and like 
like rigid you know sometimes if you get like cheap um, liquid lipsticks they can feel a bit they can make your lips feel tight and dry and really crack like they're gonna crack um, and make them feel a bit rigid but this doesn't feels nice I feel like I can forget about it for the day um, obviously I don't know this is just a first impression so I don't know how it lasts throughout the day drinking and eating and so on saying that I need a drink um, there's no transfer on the glass so that's good right so now I'm gonna try the other color gosh can you see my suntan lines it's so bad my gosh I'm so <laughs> I'm so bad. This weather is not playing with me. So now I'm gonna try the other color, which is number 23 and it's shine and it's this kind of purpley pink color. Don't necessarily go with my look, but let's just try out this color. Hopefully it doesn't stain. We move. It smells just as gorgeous. And it's actually the same scent. It smells like love hearts. Oh, it's nice. It looks like it's coming out a little bit brighter um, on the camera than it is in real life. Ooh. I can't get over the smell. The smell is insane. Oh, this one feels a bit creamier. Mmm. This one definitely feels a lot nicer it's a lot creamier mm, it's very soft oh I like this one I like this one I think I like this one better they're supposed to be the same matte lips so I don't know why the formula is different but seems to be but I really like this um, I feel like if I just bang on a bit of liner with it it'd probably look even better so yeah, I'm going to go do my hair and I shall come back. That was the OPV Beauty Matte Lip Liquid Lipsticks. Um, my thoughts. What I will say is that I feel like there was different, it seemed to me there was different consistencies between the two colours. Don't know if it's because this is a darker shade and I don't know. I'm not a chemist. I don't know how to do all this chemistry stuff. So I don't know if the formula is a little bit different um, because I definitely feel like the lighter shade um, Shine was a lot smoother. It felt. It, I've got it on now. Um, it literally just felt so creamy. Um, this one wasn't as creamy, I will say. But overall, I think the pigment is really nice. Um, I can't feel it on my lips it feels really it feels really nice um, the only problem with any matte liquid lipstick it it's drying like it's you can't really escape it yes you can get ones that are you know like semi matte so they're not as drying but realistically if you're gonna get a matte liquid lipstick it's gonna be dry because it needs to matte down um, sorry put my hair in this braid out and now it's like annoying me anyway OPV are really known actually for their eyeshadows and they're very 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 pigmented eyeshadows <clears throat> but I know that there's gonna be a lot of people that you could probably find on here that have already reviewed their eyeshadows if they haven't I will get one myself a palette myself and try it out and review it for you guys um, but I thought let me try something that they're not necessarily known for I guess um, so I thought let me give these two a try I do want to obviously it's online so you can't it's it can be very hard picking out lipstick shades online um, like this one I thought it's quite burgundy I thought it'd be more of a brown um, I did see a brown on there <coughs> that I might end up purchasing later um, but you know buying anything online is difficult when you you can't physically see it um, 
but I, I to be fair I am quite impressed with these they wasn't expensive I got them I did get them in a the sale but um, they're not actually expensive into they are uh, the average um, high street price so I was I am quite impressed with these so yeah that concludes my review guys I hope you enjoyed it um, if there's anything you would like me to review in the future or any other videos you'd like me to see I am still vlogging um, and that will be still appearing on my channel but if there's anything else you'd like to see from me then please do let me know if you're not already please go ahead and subscribe let's get these subscribers up come and join the family um, like the video if you did enjoy it dislike it if you didn't either way lets me know um, leave a comment if there's anything you want to further discuss or you want to know more information about the liquid lipsticks and I will answer your comments but other than that guys I will leave you here have a brilliant day or week and I will speak to you soon bye guys <laughs>